Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you guys want to see how I did this wash and go, keep watching. Okay, so first I decide what part I'm going to go with because once I finish styling my hair and once it's dried, I don't like to touch it too much and move it around because it's going to cause frizz. So prior to this, I did use a cleanser to wash my hair and then I used a rinse out conditioner to help detangle my hair. And after I rinsed that out, I did use a little bit of leave-in conditioner throughout my hair so that it prevents it from drying out as I'm working with my hair in sections. So in each section, I do apply a little bit more leave-in conditioner and then I spray that with some water and then I start raking my hair through with my fingers so that I can separate those curls and further detangle. So once I'm done smoothing in that conditioner, I then go ahead and I take my gel and I start smoothing it in into my section. And I like to apply it on damp hair because I notice that's what causes the best definition in my hair and it helps my hair dry a lot faster and it helps the product absorb a lot better because I do have low porosity hair. So I'm going to smooth it in and instead of using the shingling method where you take each individual curl and you smooth it in separately, um, because I have so much hair it's just not realistic for me to do that with each strand because that would literally take me hours and let's just be realistic I don't have time for that for my hair every single week so instead what I do is after smoothing in that section I kind of quickly just go over and just kind of freestyle it and just take random pieces that I see that are not defined and just kind of smooth that in I don't go in separately one by one um, and so that to me provides enough definition and then once I'm done doing that I move on to the next section so just to quickly recap what I do for each section is I finger detangle making sure that I get more curl definition that way then I grab a little bit more of a leave-in conditioner and smooth that into my hair because I have such low porosity hair, I do smooth it in for a while, at least like a minute or so, making sure that it's fully absorbed. And then once I smooth it in and rake it through my fingers to further separate the curls, I spray a little bit more water and then I go ahead and I apply my gel. If some of my ends look a little frizzy, what I do is I take a little bit more gel and I just kind of apply it to the ends and that provides it to clump together and reduce the frizz. So once I get to the top, what I do is I like to take that section at the crown and I like to put it towards the back so that when it dries, there's no lines or any parts showing in my wash and go and I section the front last and I usually use a little bit less gel for the front because my hair is a bit finer in texture and the curls do get weighed down with too much eco styler gel and yeah so basically I just have about three sections on each side and then two sections at the top if I want more of a defined look I will take smaller sections but because I have so much hair this already takes me more than enough time and I'm okay with the type of definition that I get with this amount of sections and if I want a less defined look and more of a bigger fluffy look on my first day I will actually take a lot less sections as well about four sections in total so once I get to the front of my hair because my hair is not as curly as the rest of my hair I will take more of the strands more separately and try to get more of a curl definition and I will kind of scrunch the bottom of it as well to try to lift up the curl. So once all my sections are done, I then go ahead and apply some gel onto my edges 
and I kind of just place all the curls in the right places just making sure that I like the way everything looks because once it's dried it basically is going to set the way it looks while it's wet and then once all that's done I go ahead and I shake my curls so that it separates and creates more definition and more body Okay, so after my hair air dried for about four hours, everything is dry except for my roots. My roots do take a very long time to dry. Sometimes it can take up to two days. And so I don't really like my roots still wet because it doesn't really give it too much volume. So what I do is I like to go ahead with my blow dryer and I just kind of place my blow dryer at the roots while pulling down my hair because it also provides my hair to be a little bit more stretched so I get a bit more length and a bit more volume at the top. I try to air dry my hair as long as possible because it does retain the moisture a lot better and I don't use a blow dryer for too long because it does dry out my hair very easily. So the setting is on warm and the speed is on high. So after I'm done blow drying my roots, to remove some of that gel cast, I'll gently stretch out my hair and smooth it out. And usually once the days go by during the week, the gel will soften up a bit and provide more volume. So this is first day hair, it's usually more defined. And the next day when I refresh it, it's a lot bigger and a lot softer. So if you're interested in watching that video, please click on the link. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching.